Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology and we are doing uh, genetics from medium robins and today we are going to start uh, cytogenetic disorders and uh, this topic is going to go for a few videos because it's a long topic as the name indicates ye hote kya hai cytogenetic disorders as the name indicate cyto is the word for cell and genetic is you know for genetic so there are um, genetic problems within the cell although the name indicates uh, um, like a broader and non specific issue but what we actually uh, study in cytogenetic disorders is uh, what is happening with the number of chromosomes what is happening with the structure of chromosome because numbers and structures if they are not normal then the uh, functioning of the cells become affected and some of the alterations in the number of chromosomes are actually life threatening as well so actually aapko pata hai na ki hamare uh, jo existence hai uh, that comes from this small zygote and zygote is actually made from a sperm which contains 23 chromosome and ovum which also contain 23 chromosomes right now <clears throat> these two uh, you know uh, germ cells sperm and ovum when they fuse the zygote uh, it contains 46 chromosomes so that's the true number and that's the right number right and this true number or uh, right number as many of us get this is known as euploidy so which means that we are all okay we 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 have the right number as we should have right any excess in the right number even if there is one chromosome extra or any deficiency in the right number even if it's only one chromosome less will cause problem particularly if agar um, koi aisa chromosome absent hai say for example which is an autosome you know we have autosomes and we have sex chromosomes ye jo 46 ka number hai that contains uh, 44 autosomes and two of the chromosomes are actually sex chromosome now in males they are x and y and in females they are x and x so agar koi aisa issue hai ki jisme pura ka pura ek autosome in 44 mein se ghaib hai um, then this is uh, not compatible even with life so these babies die so any change in the number or change in the structure which uh, is related to a disease is known as cytogenetic disorder okay and they are actually very common so look at look at this chromosomal abnormalities occur much more frequently than it is generally appreciated actually ye hame lagta hai ki shayad ye bahut uncommon phenomena it's very common aap zara dekhe 1 in 200 newborns ye to newborns mein uh, jo cytogenetic problem hai uska statistics hai aur ye bhi kafi common hai 1 in 200 is a big big number in fact bahut se aise chromosomal disorders uh, hame pata bhi nahi chalte pregnancy mein kyunki first trimester mein abortion ki one of the common cause is cytogenetic abnormality so the figure is actually much higher in fetuses that do not survive to term in as many as 50% of the first trimester spontaneous abortions are because of chromosomal abnormality so this is so important ki many of the abortions first trimester abortions are actually due to chromosomal abnormalities now the reason for this is there um, is obviously something wrong at the stage of uh, you know maturation of the sperm or ovum so for example we all know that our uh, sex uh, chromosomes they obviously in case of genetic material they go through the meiotic stages and meiotic division one and two and then mitosis so you saw the cell division may can be good but hoagie so this is possible okay there is an extra chromosome coming in job cells it does a separate or and so one extra remains here or sometimes uh, one is missing so things like that happen so there is a sperm produced with for example 24 chromosome or there is a sperm produced with for example 22 chromosome uh, rather than 23 and this same story can also happen with the ovum there's an ovum produced with for example 24 chromosomes or an ovum produced with 22 what was the right number for ovum and sperm 23 right so is actually very common now before embarking on the discussion for chromosomal aberrations it is appropriate to review karyotyping as the basic tool now what karyotyping basically means is you actually see uh, the numbers and uh, shapes of the chromosome literally by uh, some experimental studies and by some staining 
okay so for example the gems are staining you see the bands and this is the picture something like that that you actually see you can see on chromosome one position there are two one from father obviously one from mother and two and three and you can count them on up till 22 and on each slot you will see there are two chromosomes uh down syndrome may there is a third chromosome at position number 21 and this one extra chromosome will then disturb the numbers because abhi the numbers are 22 or her position per two chromosomes hai. so that becomes a total of 44 and then 45th is x and 46th is y so that's the genome that's the karyotype of a male uh, individual okay but x extra jayega, this is 44 plus 1 uh, and then x and y so the total number becomes 47 instead of 46 right so uh, karyotyping is the way by which we look at the numbers of chromosomes okay now the numeric abnormalities uh how many specific disorders be putting so for example we'll talk about down syndrome which is trisomy 21 but here are the general concepts in humans the chromosome uh, normal count is 46 even up the right number hamara kya hai 46 Achha, isko hum in terms of uh, genetics represent karte hai as 2n 2n because n is 23 right that, that is coming from sperm another n is uh, 23 which is coming from o1 when they combine the zygote forms it has 46 chromosome and this is known as 2n so 2n is the right number and 46 is the right number you have to remember that okay now an exact multiple of haploid number is known as euploid and chromosome numbers such as 3n or 4n are called polyploid now other uh, in any scenario it's 2n that is the right number so that's the uh, that's the standard baseline again says the other chromosome ke numbers honge, then this is then called polyploidy obviously understandable easy cheese now polyploidy generally results in a spontaneous abortion it is other chromosome number agar kisi mein 46 hone hai, isme 23 or hai. so that's going to be not 2n that's going to be 3n because 23 or is mad ho gaye so that's a big number 69 baby dies in utero any number that is not exact multiple is known as n euploid now uh, ye baat samajh le zara dekhe agar kisi baby mein chromosome number 69 hai so 69 is a multiple of 23 right so because it's a multiple of 23 that is called um, uh, euploid lekin agar kisi mein 47 hai so kitne extra hai ek chromosome extra hai so that's not a multiple of 23 right so this is then known as um, an euploid uh, an euploidy can be um, in in very very different uh, uh, forms right abhi hum dekhte hain uske bare mein ab uh, iski cause kya hai non disjunction during the meiotic division most common cause chromosomes fail to separate or they um, you know distribute in a in an abnormal manner so that some cells get uh, more chromosomes some cells get less chromosome अच्छा जी अब नेक्स्ट जो टर्मिनोलॉजीज आपको अच्छे से पता होनी चाहिए समटाइम्स इफ द नॉन डिसजंक्शन ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम ड्यूरिंग मियोसिस इज इन अ वे दैट द गैमेट व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड फॉर एग्जांपल द स्पर्म इसमें नॉर्मल कितने होने चाहिए थे 23 दैट्स द राइट नंबर इट गेट्स एन एक्स्ट्रा कॉपी such condition has a specific name this is known as trisomy so this is called a trisomy condition right so there is an extra uh, chromosome there and if um, the non disjunction happens in a way that the chromosome which is produced it actually does not have its minus minus one it 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 losses it has lost actually it loses one chromosome if this happens this is then uh, known as monosomy and the way you write trisomy and monosomy is this now now suppose uh, if i ask you what is the right number um, of chromosome in this sperm it's 23 right what is the right number of chromosomes in in a cell in an individual which is not a sex cell that's going to be uh, 46 right now the this number 46 is the right number and we represent it in genetic terms as 2n right if this person has an extra chromosome in the cells it is called 2n plus 1 and this is called trisomy if this person has one chromosome less this is called 2n minus 1 it is called monosomy so 2n is the standard uh, any number more than that is plus one any number less than that is minus one okay so you should know what is trisomy uh, and why we are writing it like 2n plus one and 2n minus one okay so um, this is what we talk about in the uh, th so this is something 
not the sex cells okay so sex cells ki jab gametes ki baat karte hain to wahan pe we talk about n plus 1 and n minus 1 now you should uh, know why we are doing this again when this is the sperm it contains 23 chromosome and 23 is represented by n that's a zygote it is represented by 2n so if we talk about any uh, chromosome abnormality in the sex cells such as sperm or ovum we will talk about n plus 1 so if i write n plus 1 that basically means there are 24 chromosome and this n tells me that we are talking about a sex cell either it is an ovum or it is a sperm okay but if we talk about 2n we are talking about cells derived from zygote okay very important now you should also understand the concept of mosaicism it's a term which is used to describe the presence of two or more cell populations with uh, different complete uh, ye bahut important concept hai because abhi jab aage humne diseases karni hai na to usme ye word bar bar aayega basically hota ye hai ki um, if we are talking about an individual say for example with down syndrome so they uh, exhibit the phenomenon of mosaicism so they have some cells which have the trisomy so some of the cells have actually 47 chromosome but some of the cells are normal and they contain 46 chromosome so because we have a mosaic pattern uh, a mix of abnormal and normal uh, mix up this is why we call it a mosaic pattern okay so like mosaic hota na aap kis tarah hota hai usme different design hote hain kala patthar safed patthar that's why it is called like mosaic in the context of chromosome numbers both zygotic mycotic non disjunction will result in the production of trisomy so is ye basically kyun hota hai ab agar ek zygote ban gaya hai suppose और उस जायगोट में 47 सेवन क्रोमोजोम्स हैं सवाल ये उठता है कि जब इससे बहुत सारे सेल बनेंगे तो सब में 47 सेवन क्रोमोजोम होने चाहिए लेकिन ऐसा होता नहीं है रीज़न ये है क्योंकि कहीं यहाँ भी एक मियाटिक या माइटोटिक नॉन डिजंक्शन हो सकता है क्रोमोजोमल सेपरेशन के दौरान एंड दिस इज़ पॉसिबल कि बाय एक्सीडेंट एक कोई ऐसा सेल बन जाए जिसमें फोर्टी सिक्स ही क्रोमोजोम हो अब जब ये सेल डिवाइड होगा इससे जितने भी सेल बनेंगे वो फोर्टी सिक्स क्रोमोजोम वाले होंगे ऑल दो इस जायगोट से और बहुत सारे सेल ऐसे बन रहे होंगे विच विल हैव फोर्टी सेवन यानी अब normal number of chromosome now at the end of the day you will have a population of cells jisme 47 chromosome wale cell bhi hain aur 46 chromosome wale cell bhi hain and hence the concept of mosaicism okay so that's about the numbers next we will talk about the structural changes in the chromosomes okay and after that we will start specific examples such as uh, down syndrome and so on and so forth so all the very best stay tuned aapse milta hu agli video mein apna khayal rakhiyega